So Kevin, a goal in the first minute and a goal in the last minute and <laughs> everything in between, how would you sum up tonight's performance? Yeah, good. I thought, I thought we deserved to win, you know. I thought Motherwell were definitely, you know, quite a bit of possession and pressed us back at times. We created an awful lot. Um, very dangerous for set plays, big physical team, but we stood up to it well. Um, but, you know, obviously a terrific goal to start with. And then, I, I, for me, a goal fitting to win any game. Uh, good play, starting with the keeper. Good ball for Big Austin and then, you know, the, the cross for young Michael uh, Foley is just outstanding. And Ben, who I thought was excellent on the night, just arriving, that third man running. And I, it's just a maturity about Ben and the header is everything about that. You know, he didn't panic and try to do too much. A glancing controlled header into the corner. Just a phenomenal goal. Phenomenal goal to win the game. And probably at that point a wee bit unjust for Motherwell because they did so well. We fight their way back in. It's never easier, you know, to, to, or whatever, to lose a game in that last chance. But... Obviously delighted for us. Yeah, the Motherwell were a very physical team, but a lot of your young players who came in composed and shown what they were made of. Mark McPocky done very well at the back as mm -hmm. well. How would you sum up their performances in particular? Uh, I thought both wide men, I thought Dylan and uh, Michael did well when they came on, you know, the games and energy. And it was great just to give them that exposure tonight, you know, against, as you said, physical fullbacks who they get a lot probably a wee bit in their personal space more than, than what they're used to. Uh, so that was good. I thought. Aussie, big Aussie in the middle of the park beside Blackie. I thought the two of them were excellent. Middle part of the game, they struggled a wee bit. A 10 minutes fell in the second half, but I thought they got a second win by the end of the game and were really in control, really, really dominant um, in terms of their own positions. Um, big Mark, as you mentioned, was you know excellent going and winning headers, you know, standing up to that physical sort of presence. You know, they were flinging the big lads forward, a lot of set plays. We were giving away unnecessary free kicks, but. All that said, you know, my experienced lads tonight were, were really good. Billy Mortimer's been frustrated because Dylan McDonald's been doing ever so well. I thought Billy was outstanding tonight. I thought Ross Taylor coming out left back was outstanding. I thought Stephen Bronski his best game in a nice school pride jersey. Big Adam in the goal, you know, and by the way, Big Adam's got a wee bit of an issue now, but was was really good, you know, put yourself through it for the team. Um Reese, Bob, Joe, don't want to miss anybody do it, you know, big Gary Muller, middle left part was great and came off as a precaution. Obviously with the knock late on, but and if I've missed anybody, I apologise. But uh, no, listen, it's a, it's a cup. We're in the cup, and that's all you want. After a cup game, you just want to be in the hat for the next round. We've managed that. The uh, old club of mine coming, and I know they'll be desperate. Everyone to get one over me, and uh, you know, hopefully they can stand up and give a, a better performance because that's what it's going to take. Yeah, but we'll, we'll talk about Anne and closer to the time. But congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks, Sean. Thank you.